Hello, my name is Rudyard Paixão. I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Right now, I'm 34 years old. I'm graduating in history, also in Chinese language and literature. I have a master's degree in the same area, and right now, I'm a PhD student in translation studies. My project is about translation of the Sangwa Yan Yi, the Romance of the Two Kingdoms, and I'm translating right now from chapter 36 to 50. In my 10 years old birthday, my mom she gave me a, a video game called Romance of the Two Kingdoms 4, a game I have never ever heard before about, and no friend of mine knew about. Um, besides being in English and having no information uh, about it, this game was kind of fascinating to me, but at the time I had no, no means to find more information about it. Passing of time, I found out that it was about Chinese history and I was, from this time on, very interested in it. So I chose later to study history, so I would be able to do research in this period. Beginning from 2021 onward, I was finally able to, to work with this book. Uh, I can say that in my life there were some moments where I could make uh, some choices and even now I am able to think uh, if I chose uh, one way or another way how things would be right now. But I'm kind of unable to think where I would be now without the Songwo, without China, without Chinese language in my life. First, the project I presented was a complete translation from the uh, from Chinese into Portuguese, from what I call Chibi Arc. So from the chapter 36 to chapter 50. But to my own surprise, I, uh, I was able to translate it kind of quickly. So uh, I'm thinking about it uh, right now, about translating the first half of the book. So it would be six chapters. For example, we could say that one of the main topics of the book is the rightful transmission of the mandate of heaven. So this is a very Chinese concept. Um, so we can think about it. How can we, in a translation, pass it to another culture? As a translator, I know there is no perfect way to do this. So what I think about uh, what I will do is to... Um, I will put in my translation some footnotes and some explanations as a way to mitigate this kind of problem. In other words, the way I found to solve this kind of problem, what we could call problems of reception, is to offer to the reader as much information as I can about the book. So he or she can be as close as possible to the original reader of the, of, of the work. More specific about the Songwo, until I had achieved a kind of good level in Chinese and I was able to actually read the original text to work with it. All I knew about the book was from English speaking sources, so English books or people that speak English. Of course, I'm a translator, but I know that there is no way um, that's better to know a book than to read the original one. Even though I was very familiar with it because of um, having been able to read it in English at first, um, to be able to read it in Chinese was very different. Well, being able to read it in Chinese was um, able to increase my comprehension about the book in itself and of course about Chinese language and Chinese culture. 